Rock. What you doing? Nothing. 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 Yeah, next to nothing really happened on Raw this week. That's why this is going to kind of sort of be combined and rolled into one. Now, over on SmackDown, Asuka, Mandy Rose, and Sonya Deville, that triangle continued, but not much happened there. Nothing really to really report. Um, Outside of that, we saw the Iconics, they fine asses. Oh, got so much love for Australia. Challenge, Boss and Hug Connection. No update on that, but hopefully we do get that match because, man, Boss and Hug Connection, I love me some Sasha. Y'all know how I feel about Sasha Banks, but at the same time, got a lot of love for the Iconics and how talented they are. Especially from last time we saw Peyton Royce actually do a little son son. She was amazing. Um, aside from that, we got Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. I mean, it was the same old shtick, you know, they trash talk each other back and forth. Becky called Charlotte a role player. It was entertaining. Nothing bad to really take from it. Becky's always good whenever she picks up the stick. And you see that kind of, you know, pushing Charlotte to get better. So, yeah, it, it was good. But the highlight of the show would have to be the men. You know, I mean, for one thing, it's like I usually don't care about the male roster, but... Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. I am excited. I am here for it. To anyone who did not see the exchange between those two, I highly recommend y'all go and watch that. Because, man, I mean, on paper, you know, you look at what uh, both of them can do in a ring, it's already going to be great. But with the storytelling that the writers are doing with this, and the performers as well. Oh man, this is just the cherry on top of something that was already going to be good. As far as the Kofi Kingston versus Biggie, you know, it's just. Look, man, I'm not saying Kofi Kingston needs to be CM Punk or Stone Cold Steve Austin. Obviously, the, the guy is going to be who he is. But damn, man, you really need someone else to speak up for you. You've been held back for 11 years, man. You better be getting in that ass like a G-string, bruh, about where your shit at, man. I mean, if you all happy-go-lucky, I'm just happy to be here, then why make all the fuss to begin with, bruh? So, it's... I'm not saying it's bad writing, but it's not good writing either. It, it's doable, but at the same time, it's kind of sort of like... On one hand, you want to jump up and down and say, hey, man, I'm here, man. I don't complain, I don't complain, I earn my shot. But on the other hand, it turns into some, hey, look, you need to give me this title. What more do I have to do? But I'm not complaining. But what more do I have to do? But I'm not complaining. So it's just like, yeah, I mean, I get it. Maybe that's what they're going for, confused Kofi. But 11 years is a long time to still be confused, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's all good to hear Xavier Woods and Big E talk, you know, they're good. But at the same time, it's like, man, this should be... Kofi need to take this shit personal. Kofi need to get some bass in his voice, man. That man need to start going the fuck off, man. And if he's just not that guy for it, I get it. But at the same time, if we're champagning and campaigning, this man getting a title shot, he's been held down for so long, Kofi better be fucking like a man straight out of jail on this shit, man. He better be going the fuck off, man. Like, when Becky was finally giving her shot, she went the fuck off, man. She was like a lion let out the cage, man. I want to see the same thing out of Kofi Kingston, man. I get it. Maybe it's gradual. Maybe it's a slow burn. But at the same time, it's like, you should need two other men to speak up for you. I can see if they piggyback off you or maybe that's just the way they're doing it. It just feels weird, man. I mean, if you had a girl... And y'all were flirting with each other and 11 months go by damn near years. She don't let you tap nothing. I mean, once that 11 month mark hit, you probably gonna go the fuck off. You go, you gonna let, you look here, man. You gonna go the fuck off. You don't need none of your homies to come up. Hey, man, you let this man bust them cheeks, man. He really been waiting 11 months, man, to bust them cheeks. No, that's, that's beneath you. You're the one who wants it. 
and your homies may want it for you, but at the same time, you're a man and you need to stand up and say, this is what I want, man. So I don't know what's going on with that storytelling. I get it. Maybe they just want to get a guy some mic time, but it just comes off as pretty damn corny that you need Xavier Woods and Biggie to speak for. I understand he may need him for backup to help him out so he don't get jumped or some shit because of the bullshit that keeps going down. But should he really have these guys speaking for him? Other than that, the show was pretty solid. I'm highly interested in the Orton versus AJ Styles feud. They made me a believer. As far as the women's division, Becky and Charlotte still going on strong. Um, but that's about it. Not much else really happened. That's all I got. I'm out.